Hi, math friends. Welcome back. This is Kristen Hilty again. This game that we're going to play today is called Horse Race, and this is a game that can be played at all grade levels, kindergarten through fifth grade. Um, I have my friend Megan with me today, and she is going to help me demonstrate how to play this game. Now, underneath um, this, you'll see where there's a link where you can actually purchase this dice tray as well as a book called Stratadice, which is meant to be used at home by families. It um, is a book that will provide you with all kinds of games that you can actually use this dice tray with, with your kids. However, I've also included um, attached to this the game board for horse race that you will be able to download. So if you don't actually have the dice tray, once Megan and I show you how to play the game, you'll You'll see that you can use um, just the game board and you'll be able to use this at your house uh, with just regular dice. So stay tuned for that. I'll show you that um, after we demonstrate how to play. How to do it if you don't have one of these trays at your house. Now, if you do purchase one of these trays or if you're one of the schools that we work with and you already have one of these dice trays at home, remember the way we open this is we put our hand out. We put this on our hand just like we're a server in a restaurant. We take our other hand, we do what we call an alligator chump, pancake flip. That way we flip it over to the back and that'll make it easier to just lift. See how easy that is? To just lift that black lid right off the bottom and then that way all your dice are over here in the clear lid and it makes it a lot easier to get them out rather than dumping those dice and having them go everywhere. Since I got to open up the tray, Megan gets to decide does she want to be the blue dice or does she want to be the white dice? I'll be blue. She's going to be blue. So I'm going to turn this this way, let her take out all of those blue dice over on her side. I'm going to take out all the white dice over here on my side. And once we have them out, we are ready to have our first horse race. Now, we're gonna demonstrate this with addition, but you can also play this with multiplication as well. <clears throat> you would do exactly the same thing that Megan and I are going to do here, but instead of adding, you would multiply. So we call this a horse race because our dice are actually going to be our horses. So each round, Megan and I are each going to pick up two horses in our hand. We are going to roll our horses, and remember we don't throw dice, we roll dice. So with our horses, we corral them in our hands, so we shake those horses in our hands, we put them down, and we take a peek. Now we each have to give the number sentence that matches what we rolled. So I would say five plus five equals 10. And five plus three equals eight. And now we have to compare. Since mine is greater, I would say 10 is greater than eight. And Megan would say, eight is less than 10. And so the one who has the greater sum gets to put theirs on the racetrack. The black tray is the racetrack. This clear lid over here, that is the barn. So Megan's horses are going into the barn. When Megan puts her horses in the barn, it doesn't matter where she puts them in the barn because, well, they're just in the barn. What we're more worried about are these horses down here that are on the racetrack. Over here, since I'm sitting on this side, this will be my side of the racetrack. So my horses are actually going to race up this side. Megan is sitting on the right side, so the right side will be her side of the racetrack. Her horses will start here and continue to race in this direction. Once we get up here to the top, we're actually gonna round the corner and come down the back stretch. We want to be the person who has the most horses on the racetrack when we're finished, and that will be the winner of our game. All right, Megan, let's corral two more horses and race them. I have five plus two equals seven. Six plus three equals nine. Mm, seven is less than nine. Nine is greater than seven. Mine go in the barn and hers go on the racetrack. We're gonna corral two more horses. Four plus one equals five. Six plus three equals nine. Five is less than nine. Nine is greater than five. This isn't very much fun for me. All right, we're gonna take two more. Oh, I got doubles though. Two plus two equals four. Five plus two equals seven. Four is less than seven. Seven is greater than four. Now it is important as your kids are playing this, make sure they are saying their number sentences or their equations every time and not just eyeballing the dice and putting them in. You also wanna hear that comparison vocabulary each time as well. That less than, greater than. 
um, working on that math specific vocabulary will really help strengthen their math skills. All right, rolling two more. Doubles again. Oh, we both got doubles. Four plus four equals eight. Six plus six equals 12. Eight is less than 12. 12 is greater than eight. So mine are back over here in the barn. I need another winner. <laughs> oh my goodness. Six plus two equals eight. Six plus five equals 11. Eight is less than 11. 11 is greater than eight. Um, back in the barn once again. All right, I don't think I have a chance to win this one. So oh, six plus one equals seven. Six plus one equals seven. In this case, since we tied, we both get to go on the racetrack. So when there is a tie, you both get to go on the racetrack. All right, here we go again. This is our last set. Nope, we have one more after this. Six plus three equals nine. Six plus four <laughs> equals 10. Nine is less than 10. 10 is more than nine. Mine go in the barn. Now hers are going to come back and they're going to start to go back up again. They rounded the corner. All right, last race. Oh, I finally win. Five plus five equals 10. One plus two equals three. 10 is greater than three. Three is less than 10. So mine finally got to make it all the way down one lap of the track. So in this case, Megan would be the winner of our horse race game. We would turn our game board in this direction, you know, because sometimes it could be the color of the horses that determines who wins. So this time I would get to be the, the blue horses and Megan would get to be the white horses. As I said, when we started this, if you don't have one of these dice trays, what you can do is if you just eat all you need, um, would be four dice in your house. If you can pull those out of games that you have, I'm actually going to put this inside of this um, sheet protector here. Sheet protectors make great dry erase boards. So as you download these game boards, if you have a sheet protector in your house, put them inside of a sheet protector and that way uh, you can use it like a dry erase board and you don't have to keep making new copies of that game board. So to play it this way, if we just have um, four dice, you can see we have player one and we have player two. So we're gonna roll our dice just like we did the first time. See, I win when we demonstrate. Six plus six equals 12. Uh, six plus three equals nine. 12 is greater than nine. Nine is less than 12. So what I would do over here on my side is I would put my six in my six, and then we would just roll again. So if you're using the game board, you're just going to roll, and you can determine how many races you want to do. You can determine it can be the first person who fills their whole side is the winner. First person who fills two columns can be the winner. Four plus two equals six. Six plus five equals 11. Six is less than 11. 11 is greater than six. <laughs> <laughs> so Megan would put her six and five over on her side of the board and she would race in her direction and I would race in mine. So you can play horse race um, if you do not have that dice tray as well. What you, you see your directions for horse race up here, as I said, you can do the same thing, but you can multiply instead of add. So our students in third, fourth, and fifth grade working on those multiplication facts, that would be a great variation to the game. Down here, you also see another game, which is called Warp 18. To play Warp 18, you're going to play the same way that we have been playing, but this time you're going to take three dice instead. So we'll demonstrate Warp 18 on our game board here. So now we have three horses. And with our three horses, what we want to do here is show how to group them and then add our three add-ins together. So I might group two and two together because I like my doubles. So two plus two is four, plus three is seven. Megan, how do you want to group yours? I'll go six and four is 10 plus one is 11. And so if we had changed it and we did, if I did three plus two is five plus two is seven, I can see that I still get the same sum. If Megan changed hers and did four plus one is five plus six, she still gets 11. That's the associative property of addition. So here, that's something that we do start teaching it in uh, very early grades, showing kids that it doesn't matter which way we group our add-ends, we will still get the same sum. You can do the same thing for multiplication. That we have the associated property of multiplication. Having them group doesn't matter which two I group, I'm still going to get the same product. Having them put on, putting them side by side together, 
is a great strategy to get ready for order of operations because ultimately what I put here is what I'm going to be putting my parentheses around. So with fifth, with third, fourth, and fifth graders, we can do this again where we roll. But this time I want them to group two that they're going to add together and then they're going to multiply by the third one. So I might group on mine, three plus two is five times five is 25. What would you do, Megan? Four plus two is six times five is 30. Mm, and I could try and do it a different way. If I did five plus three is eight times two, that gets me to 16. And I can see, well, I was actually a lot better off when I did it this way because that gave me a total of 25. So have kids play around with that. Have them group two together to add, and then they're going to multiply by the third. When we go to write that equation for what we just did, I just did three plus two times five to get to my total. So we can bring in that order of operations when we play warp 18 as well. If you were just using this game board, mine was the smaller one, 25 is less than 30. Megan's was the greater one. She would write those three numbers. She would write her five, four, and two on her side of the game board. As I said, that's how you play horse race. It is a lot of fun. There's a lot of different ways that you can change this up and you can play this with your kids at home. Uh, if you do like playing dice games, I would encourage you to look at, into getting that Strata Dice book with the dice tray. Uh, kids really like it, and it will give you a lot of great games that you can play at home with your family. Um, until next time, enjoy playing horse race.